Hi guys, Mindstone here, and today I will be showing you how to do the heroic Arch Thiever farm using a deck only consisting of rares. It's Paladin, but I've seen just other spells I'm gonna boss I'm gonna note. It's probably the easiest boss I have ever seen. It is so amazingly easy as long as you have bad cards. Quite important to note. But what what it does is it he takes your deck, right? So you just fill all the garbage you have into a deck. And you're playing only rares because you're looking for this card. This one card, rare spear. Nothing else matters. Whenever your opponent plays a rare card, gain one one. Which means which means guys, the spear the spear will go absolutely insane because there's thirty rares in there. Right? And yeah, well, you're just gonna start pushing damage because you're gonna play rare every turn, pretty much. There's the one thing that can happen is that this unstable portal will just go crazy and something weird will happen. And you don't want that, obviously. But there's not all that much you can do about it, um, honestly. So yeah, discovering one mana paladin cards, insane. Never thought that would happen. Not with that card. And right here, I won't attack with a rare spear because it's got to get powered up, and it will be powered up. Just wait and see. Well, that's not very nice. Let's see what happens. He's probably going to play Arcane Golem or something. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I know my deck, right? And well, he's pretty aggressive here, but yeah, it's it's okay. Let's look for something good. A minion, maybe? Oh. Well, he would be free to use his spells, right? That's fine. <laughs> <You may laughs> With that deck, you may use all the spells you want. That's just okay. So, we're just giving that option. It's just fine. Let's see some spells now. Some of the minions are dangerous because he gets some new ones. Yeah, but come on, man. Play some spells. <laughs> Yeah, well, the, j the joust is kind of interesting, right? <laughs> I haven't seen that one before. Uh, that's a rare secret. If you see a rare secret ever, you just know it's competitive spirit, so... Yeah. Fairly easy to figure out. I doubt there being any... rare weapons in the deck. I don't remember putting him in there, but it could happen. Uh, this guy hurts a bit. It's kind of unlucky when he pulls out actual stuff that can hurt me, but it'll be okay. Occasionally, this one will just hit for seven or something. This one's amazing, right? Because it inspire, it pulls it back to the hand. He's going to inspire this every time he starts his turn, which efficiently just means it's going to stay in his hand, and he's spent mana on it. Yeah, we don't care about this guy. Uh, well, it's kind of sad I can't clear this one, but we'll see what happens. I think Harrison might get to... Oh, there you see, guys. And he just plays again, so more buffs. Very nice. We like. And cards for us, thank you. We like a lot. More buffs, yeah. Give me, Give me more. Okay, we're going to look for trading away the entire board now. Um, yeah, these are pretty obvious. I don't think we want to go weapon into that guy. So, yeah. We're just going to mind vision him. And a ruby neck. Nah, pretty not good. I'm just going to hero power. Yeah, let's just chill out here. But honestly, I should just be starting to bang my weapon in his face. He plays it again. And he plays one of the most horrible cuts in the game. Poof. It becomes a chicken. A useless beast. It's a flame juggler? That's fine, right? 
Okay. We're going to go all out, right? And just start putting in some damage. It's going to be 20 damage over two turns, so I need one more damage. And that's probably going to be there by him playing a rare card. If there's a Arcane Golem, I actually lose the game. Right? There could be Arcane Golem. Oh no, there's not Arcane Golem. So I think I win. Yeah. Yeah, I do. It was actually a pretty bad game this time. In the round. Having some really bad cards coming into my hand. Except for the rare SVR, obviously. But, yeah, it just didn't really happen the way I wanted it to. But... After all, it worked. You just need the rare spear and you just gotta go face a lot of times. And you should be okay. I just had a little bit of trouble getting ball control, but it's okay. Yeah, but that's how you do it, guys. I have to note another deck called the Auto Fatigue Reform. It's a shaman deck that has so much draw into it that he just kills himself, actually. Well, that's quite interesting to watch. It just means that he fills his board and there's some mana type totems on it. And honestly, there are going to be a lot of useless cards that won't ever do anything to you. And he just kills himself by drawing cards. So that's a very safe way to win it, but I think this is probably a nice and consistent version that I found. There's only 4 times 2 Paladin cards in it, really, so you could play a lot of different classes. Just play all the most garbagey rares you have, and you'll be super powerful with the spears. Uh, if you're a bit lucky, the portals won't net him all that good stuff it did against me, but yeah, it's okay. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the walkthrough, and I'll see you